They said the holidays would be hard to deal with, but they weren't. There was a piece missing for sure, but with all the rushing around and obligatory gift giving and uh, the abnormal schedules, it was as it's always been, crazy busy. Now it all settles down as we head into another year. But this time without you. And that's hard. Uh, I'll have to kiss the kids on New Year's Eve this year. Uh, but it'll have to be at 7 p.m because that's when I put them into bed. Uh, I guess now I don't need to be up till midnight. Not this year. I'm so exhausted and sore. And angry with you. Angry that you're gone. Angry that you didn't take better care of yourself. Angry the doctors didn't insist you pay better attention. Angry at myself that I chose you. I chose someone who would up and die, leaving me with two kids, a mortgage, a dog. <laughs> you decorated the house. Now I have to take it all down by myself. I can't bear to ask the kids to help. They'll probably want to leave them up forever. I do too. Ben won't help out with anything. He's so angry. But he doesn't understand why, so... I'm so tired. I'm tired of trying to explain to them over and over again why their daddy isn't here anymore. Because I don't understand why. So I make up stories so they don't see my anger. was a hero again. Um, we were trying to build the gingerhead, gingerbread house this year and um, we couldn't keep the sides of the house up even with the icing in between. They just kept falling over. And Ben and I are on the verge of tears of frustration, and Ben is close to yet another meltdown, when Tom picks up a piece of the gingerbread and announces, you know what, this is supposed to be fun, not perfect, so let's just have a laugh and eat up all of the icing and <laughs> just have a good time. And he smiled for the first time 
in such a long time. And then <laughs> even giggled. <laughs> <laughs>